Hello, I'm back in the exact same outfit because I'm irresponsible and I'm filming all of my tutorials on the exact same day. Welcome! Ugh. Today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make everything wiggle, how to make everything shake, how to make everything move. This is one of my favorite easy tricks in After Effects, and this applies to flickering light, moving objects, camera shake, all of that. I will first um, create a shape layer to show you. Okay, so I'll name this wiggle subject. <laughs> so we have this nice square right here. So if I hit S and I bring up the scale, you can see that uh, just making it go up and down changes the size, but that's because my mouse is here going back and forth. If we want this to wiggle on our own, we can customize the wiggle entirely. If you hold down Alt and click on the scale keyframe, type in wiggle parentheses 30 comma 50 and just click off. And now you will see that this wiggle keyframe is making it bounce, I think, 30 pixels 50 times. I'll be honest, I'm not big on what the numbers actually mean, I just know what they do. <laughs> okay, so we'll do a less extreme option. So we'll do 30, 10, and you can see now it doesn't get as big. So I think the second number is how big the scale gets. And so I think it's bouncing 10 pixels big 30 times a second. Okay, let's change that to 10, 10, and see so you got it bouncing around kind of like a gelatin. So if you wanted to add some motion blur in the layer itself, you can just hit automatic motion blur and you can see that this is now a wiggling square that's got motion blur. And so let's alt click this scale keyframe, this stopwatch to make it stop. And now let's do that with position. If I alt click and I type in wiggle 10, 20, let's see what happens. And now instead of the scale being ununiform and that just going everywhere, the square itself Self doesn't have any like scalable distortion, just position change. That didn't make any sense and I'm sorry. But now you got this just wiggling. I'll change to 60, I wanna see what that does. And now, okay, I love how I'm just reacting to all these different numbers. Well, I like these numbers because you get to just customize it. Because if I wanted the, the movement to be super subtle, I could do 360. And so now it's not moving as fast, but it's going as far. And if I change this to three, it's now not gonna go far and it's going to be slow. And so if I made this 100 and 30, you can see now it's going out 100 pixels as fast as 30. And now if you wanted to go extra crazy and bring up scale again, hold Alt, wiggle, 20, 30, you have the position and the scale wiggling, which creates for this insane shape. So hopefully that explains the wiggle expression. It makes things wiggle. And so now I'll explain where that comes in practically. So. For an example, I'm going to download this meteorite from Footage Crate. Not a sponsor, Squarespace is the sponsor, but to make anything wiggle, there's some practical applications. All right, so if I bring in this meteorite, you'll see that it's unmoving. It just kind of slowly spins. However, if I hit P to drop down the position and I hold Alt and I click the stopwatch, I can type in wiggle 10, 30. And now look, oh, that's way cooler. And so now the meteorite has this movement that's more chaotic and unpredictable, more like what an actual meteorite would do. Let me actually switch those positions and do 30, 10. Oh, that's perfect. And now with this wiggle position, I could, let's say, create a null object and I'll link the meteorite to it. I can keyframe the position to fly through the screen. And so you can animate your meteorite to move with the null and shake with the wiggle expression. So that's one way to use the wiggle expression is creating an unpredictable nature to something that has an unpredictable nature. Another one would be like graphic animation. So let me quickly create a, 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 a graphic. I'll type in oh, Will, which is my name, and I'm gonna go back to Footage Crate and steal some of their stuff. Notification. All right, I'm gonna download this Instagram like counter and this Facebook like counter. And so maybe the idea to my graphic animation is that Will gets lots of notifications, which is not true. Super, super not true. <laughs> oh. 
I can just duplicate these and move them around. And if I hit position on one of them and I hold alt, I type in wiggle 10 comma five. Let's see what happens. You see how it's wiggling that one notification. And so now if we just wiggle the other ones and now you can see that these animations have some organic movement by adding the wiggle. And so you can use these wiggle keyframes to make still graphic animations wiggle and move. Cause the text will is really boring, but if I create a position wiggle thing, wiggle 10, five, it just makes it more quick and easy to consume because it has some movement. If you don't believe me, it's true. You add little tiny shakes to most graphic animation and it helps a lot. And lastly, the wiggle animation comes in handy for light. I use, I use the light wiggle thing whenever I do a lightsaber animation. And I recently did some lightsaber stuff with Jason Derulo, which I'll show you as an example. So here he is holding a lightsaber. Let's imagine the red blade is actually lit up and everything. So the lightsaber effect is there. If I create a new adjustment layer and I create a pin tool mask around the blade, I can type in exposure and drag that onto the clip. And if you alt click on the exposure stopwatch, you can type in wiggle 10 comma, let's say eight. Oh, not eight, point eight. And so you can see how this this right here is flashing. Let me feather the edge. And so you can imagine when the lightsaber blade is there, the lightsaber is like project light. You can create a flashing adjustment layer that makes a light or a lightsaber flicker. That's how I use it with lightsabers. I track them over so they create kind of this engaging constant light fluctuation. And for my parallax animations where I go through a photo, if there's a light or a lamp in that picture, I will use these this flickering uh, adjustment layer to give a still light some flickering animation. I'm gonna import this silly lamp right here just to show you. So if I create a new adjustment layer and I hold it over this, I'll drop the exposure effect, wiggle it by holding alt on the exposure keyframe stopwatch, wiggle 6.7. Let me feather that. And see, now you have this light flickering. And so you can use the flickering exposure on a light picture, on a lightsaber. You can use the wiggle to make a meteorite move or for a graphic animation to bounce around. Yeah, the wiggle has a lot of applications. And now a word from our sponsor, Squarespace. From online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform. I love and support Squarespace because they love and support me, by the way. So listen up. If you're a photographer, you gotta get Squarespace because they have award-winning designer templates that you can display your photography in. And so if you want your work presented to the world and you need a good portfolio, you do that with Squarespace. They even have portfolios and galleries for you on the website. So if you're a photographer, it's a no brainer. Let's say you're an Instagram or a SoundCloud rapper, or that you just have a SoundCloud or an Instagram. You'll love Squarespace because you can connect your social medias to the website. So you can put your Instagram or your SoundCloud straight into the website. Good for cross promotion. So if you wanna promote your other socials, definitely get a Squarespace. And lastly, let's talk about the analytics. You'll know who comes to your website, who's clicking on your stuff. You'll have a good overview of everything you'll need to know on your website. So if you wanna keep track of your traffic and obsess about the numbers that will make your business successful, check out Squarespace. They got the best analytics in the game. And you know what else is cool? My discount code. So go to squarespace.com slash Will Carmack or the top link in the description below to get 10% off your first website or domain. Thank you for sponsoring this video, Squarespace. I love you. And where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will and have a